Oh, the entire state of Washington woke up in a blanket of haze this morning. Here are some pictures from our viewers. Uh, of course, this is all because of a wildfire and the smoke from our neighbors to the north. So this is in Chehalis from Scott. Uh, Coney took another hazy picture in Skagit Valley. It's causing a damper on vacations as well as you can imagine. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Uh, if we can scroll through some of those, there's uh, Serena and Chelan. Uh, I think we've got another one from Constance. Yeah, oh my gosh. So everyone is seeing and feeling the effects of the haze. Gol golly, um, can't even see the bay, says Edith. She's in uh, Tulalip, so wow. You know, it's interesting, when I moved here uh, 10 years, almost 10 years ago, I don't remember yeah. having these many issues in August. I feel like it's oh, really? a little bit different, but we'll get more insights from our science journalists in a moment. Let's go to Jordan outside first. Hey, hey, ladies. Yeah, so a couple of things. Obviously, we've been talking a lot about that haze. And, you know, if we just take a little bit of a glance, our beautiful downtown skyline is looking everything but the beautiful skyline that we're so used to. And so we were thinking, OK, this reminds us of last August when we were blanketed with pretty much the same story, smoke, haze, and even a little ash. So we have this side by side comparison. I don't know if you guys can see what we're looking at from last year compared to this year. And it's very similar in what we've experienced. And a couple of things is going on, of course, with the upper level patterns, which is why we're seeing and experiencing all of this haze. Air quality right now is terrible. I mean, we're looking at an unhealthy air quality all across Puget Sound. And basically that means it would behoove all of us to stay inside if possible, something where you can have an air filter. So in order to get rid of this, we need a little bit of a wind pattern and a wind shift. And my weather computer isn't working properly right now, so I'm gonna basically let you know what's going on. Think of a bubble sitting over Seattle with no air going in or out. The reason why we have all that smoke and haze trapped is because we don't have a good marine push. Once we get that, things will change. So I think tomorrow and Thursday, we might see the lower levels of the atmosphere get a little bit better, but the long range pattern is gonna keep the smoke overhead at least the next five days. And that's unfortunate because we've gotten a rain in the forecast. It's been extremely dry and I don't see a huge pattern shift for, for quite some time. So if you have anything to do outside over the next couple of days, I would just say, if you can, uh, limit your outdoor use, stay inside when possible. And when you're in your car, use that little recirculating button, right? So it sucks air in the vents and then comes out from inside your car because there's a vent in there that'll help out. Anyway, those are my tips. There you go, take them for what it is and uh, I will send it back to you guys inside, okay? Yes, because now we want to dive a little deeper. We have our science journalist, Juliana Viglion with us. Thanks so much for coming in. Of course. Dropping by take five. So the haze, we've had people call us and say, what should I do? Um, I know some soccer practices have been canceled. Yeah. Is this something in your mind we should be worried about or concerned? Yeah, I think it is a concern. Um, the so the EPA puts out these maps that are updated um, every day and they show an air quality index right and so it goes from fine all the way up to hazardous and right now a lot of Washington and Seattle included is in um, the unhealthy stage so this is when they recommend that you limit your exercise outside um, I know I didn't go for a run this morning they, uh, you should try and like keep your doors closed. Um, if you have an air, like if you have AC and you have an intake vent, you want to shut it off so it's not sucking in more particles. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, it seems like it's been worse almost in the last year or two that we're just starting to see more smoke now. I remember very orange from the BC fires. But when you're walking around, you can tell with the itchy eyes and, and if you have respiratory issues in particular. Yeah. So how do you, how do you protect yourself? in a situation like this, just walking around? Yeah, um, I guess try not to. <laughs> really, you know, like not a good week to mow your lawn, not a good week to go you for a run. You just gave him a huge excuse. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. welcome, <laughs> dads everywhere, and moms. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, you know, it's not the sort of thing where you, I think you need to go out and buy like a filter mask and walk mm. around with it, um, but you should definitely keep it in mind and not, uh, you know, not exacerbate. Try not to like be breathing heavily outside pretty okay. much. Got it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Juliana Viglione. We'll see yeah. you next time. All right. All right. All right. Five Hive? Let's do it. Yeah.